February 15th, 2021. A massive Arctic storm is working its way across the country, about to bear down on nearly one third of the entire United States. It's 1 a.m. and mayhem is about to begin. Inside the electric grid control room, highly experienced operators are intensely monitoring power flow demands on a massive plasma screen that covers the front wall, as well as on countless smaller screens that line the surrounding desks. Lights are flashing. Alarms are going off in every single direction, every sound having a very specific and urgent meaning. Phones are ringing. Everyone is communicating. Even the President of the United States has called in to see how the situation is unfolding. But there is a huge problem. Every single weather event is different, and no one is quite sure what is about to happen. Suddenly, power lines go down. Gas pipes begin to freeze. Grid conditions get tighter and tighter and tighter until the power goes out. This happened just a few years ago. As someone who has worked at a grid operator, who has been inside the control room during one of these events, I can tell you the impact is all too real. In February of 2021, 140 million people were affected. 10 million people were without power, and 246 people, roughly the size of this room, lost their lives. Did it have to be this way? No, I don't believe so. But I'm not here to talk about what should have happened. Rather, I'm here to talk about what can be done to reduce the chance of such a devastating event happening again. Currently in the United States, we have three power grids. We have the Eastern Air Connect, which is everything east of the Rocky Mountains, the Western Interconnect, everything west of the Rocky Mountains, and the Texas Interconnect. <laughs> These three grids operate in isolation, and they don't meaningfully move power between them in times of need. We need to have a singular, nationally connected power grid. Now, this will require states working together, something that I must admit we are not good at. But the benefits are more than worth it. And I see three huge opportunities moving forward. A nationally interconnected electric grid will, one, promote decarbonization, two, increase reliability, and three, enable innovation. But in order for us to seize on these opportunities, we need to talk about something that doesn't often make the news. We need to talk about transmission. Transmission lines are specialized power lines designed to carry large amounts of power over long distances. They essentially serve as energy highways, and all three electric grids are dependent on them. But the problem is, there are actually very few interconnection points between these three grids, representing less than 0.13% of all transmission. This restricts the operator's ability to meaningfully move power between them in times of emergency. We need to invest hundreds of billions of dollars in transmission build-out so that we can effectively move energy around the US. Now, this might seem like a monumental task, but projects of this scale have been achieved across the history of humanity. Thousands of years ago, the Romans built 11 aqueducts that brought fresh flowing water continuously into Rome, as far as 57 miles away. A little over 100 years ago, right here in the US, the Transcontinental Railroad was built. This railroad reduced the travel time from New York to San Francisco from six months to just 83 hours. Imagine what that must have been like, being in that Roman village, having that first taste of fresh flowing water, or being in New York at the turn of the century, walking into a market and picking up and smelling your first Florida orange. These two seemingly monumental tasks changed humanity for the better. And now the next task is ahead of us, a nationally interconnected electric grid. Which brings me to our first opportunity, promoting decarbonization. A nationally interconnected electric grid will help us move clean, renewable power across the US. This means we can build wind where it's windiest, solar where it's sunniest, and move that power around to those who need it. A recent McKinsey report 
found that in order for the U.S. to achieve its renewable and emission reduction goals, we would need to invest $450 billion in transmission between now and 2030. Now, this might seem like a lot, a huge investment, but the National Renewable Energy Laboratory found that investing in transmission and connecting the electric grids will yield $2.50 in benefits for every dollar in cost. Seems like a pretty good deal. In the long run, this means lower electricity bills for you and for me. Now, delaying this investment will only increase its need. Last year in California alone, 125 million kilowatt hours of clean renewable energy, which is enough to power the city of San Francisco for a week, was wasted because it could not be moved to those who needed it. But I want you all to think about this from more than just an investing point of view. I want you to think about it in terms of our second opportunity, increased reliability. A nationally interconnected electric grid will increase our reliable delivery of power. Currently in the United States, 70% of our transmission lines are over halfway through their useful life. This creates a real vulnerability of the U.S. experiencing increased blackouts, according to the Department of Energy. We need to invest hundreds of billions of dollars so we can further increase our reliable delivery of power. Increased reliability means that hospitals, nursing homes, and other essential healthcare services can continue to operate during times of emergency. Imagine if you or a loved one are in a hospital dependent on life-saving technology and the power goes out. There's only so much fuel in the backup generators and you have no idea when the power is about to come back on. Reliability in this instance can mean the difference between life and death. But once we're able to reliably connect with each other, we can take advantage of our third opportunity, enabling innovation. A nationally connected electric grid will be the catalyst for clean tech solutions that no one thought possible 10 years ago. By connecting electric customers from coast to coast, we will create a white space for future entrepreneurs and incumbent developers alike. Similar to the railroad expansion in the 19th century, expanding electricity markets will spark a wave of innovation and investment like never before. There are already examples of electric grids around the world becoming more connected. In Italy, $900 million was just invested connecting the Italian electric grid to Tunisia. This energy bridge between the European and African power systems will reduce Italy's dependence on Russian natural gas and increase their market potential. The U.S. needs to catch up and invest in its own potential. If countries from different continents can work together to connect across the Mediterranean, why can't the U.S. work together to connect across state lines? The technology is already here. The engineering already solved. All that is needed is for people to invest in our power grid's long-term potential. So if you're sitting here wondering, what can I do? The answer is simple. Whenever you hear someone talking about their energy plans, whether it's your local utility or your local representative, make sure you ask them about transmission. Make sure that they are thinking about how we move our power, not just how we make it. And if you are in the energy industry, make sure you're asking yourself, what am I doing to prepare? Because the world is becoming more connected every day. And it's up to us to decide whether we want to be a part of that connection or risk being alone in the dark. The next big storm is coming. But it can be different this time. Because the next big change, a nationally connected electric grid is coming too, and it will connect us like never before. Thank you.